Is it weird for a fisher to release fish? Not at all. It's actually smart to let some fish go back to the ocean. When you release undersized fish alive, you actually allow them to grow and reproduce. Eating small fish is like taking fruit too early. It's a waste. That's the same with fish that are about to reproduce during their spawning season. For instance, when hook and line fishing, the catch of groupers cannot be avoided during a seasonal ban. But, by releasing them alive, you allow fish to reproduce. Thus, you will find more fish to catch, eat or sell tomorrow. By and large, let's release undersized, untargeted or unwanted fish alive to restock our fishing grounds. Yes, it might take time and effort, but it's worth it. Have you ever noticed that some released fish remain on the surface, sometimes belly up? That is the result of what's called barotrauma. This condition affects many types of reef fish species we catch, including snappers, emperors and groupers. When you quickly bring a fish from the deeper water to the surface, the rapid change in pressure causes the gases in the fish's body to expand. Sometimes it results in the stomach getting pushed out through the mouth, bulging eyes or the intestines protruding. So, why release fish if it will just float helpless at the surface, ready to be eaten by large predatory fish such as sharks, barracuda and others? Because there are simple and practical ways to quickly send fish back down to depths where gases will recompress naturally, allowing fish to fully recover, swim away and hide from predators and grow to reproduce more fish. A descending gear is a device that allows you to take a live fish back down to the bottom. You can make a simple descending gear using a hook, a long line clip or a clothes hanger and a weight. The general idea is to make a special hook linked to a weight that will allow the fish to free itself when it reaches a desired depth or the bottom. If using a large J-hook, you need to cut off or file the bob. If using a long line clip, you will have to cut the ends and give it the shape of a big bobless hook. That's the same with a clothes hanger. Small gauge but strong wires are preferable to be shaped as release hooks. As for the weight, it can be made from lead, steel rebar, cement in a can or PVC pipe, or any other dense materials. You can also fix the bobless hook to the weight. You've just caught an undersized, untargeted or unwanted fish. How to deal with it? 1. Take it out of the water carefully. 2. Remove the barbed hook and replace it with the hook of your descending gear. Please keep in mind to do all this very quickly. The shorter the time the fish is out of the water, the better. 3. Put the fish and the weight cautiously back in the water. And 4. Let them sink to the bottom. The weight will drag the fish down until it reaches the bottom. Then by giving some slack to the line and a little tug, you will allow the fish to free itself from the hook and swim away for protection. And that's it. <laughs>